7 Reasons Why 5G Is Not Worth It Yet The rollout of 5G technology promises enormous mobile capabilities such as increased data transmission rate, increased capacity, IoT capabilities, and many more. Deployment of the new 5G technology will boost the level of performance compared to the previous fourth-generation communication system. 5G technology is driven by its specific uses and applications, making it different from other generations. Its greater flexibility offers support to a wide range of applications. When the new 5G technology was first introduced, the initial use cases put forward showed increased data transfer in form of video downloads and effective remote control of apps with low latency. An example of autonomous vehicles indicated constant remote communication with the radar infrastructure in order to provide a safe transport system. Instead of 5G offering services offered in the previous generations, it offered new connection capabilities and ubiquitous communication. As a result, more base stations and small cells are required to support the infrastructure. Though much of the hype on 5G is around enormous speed, it also supports greater bandwidth that handles more connections of IoT devices than the 4G network. So is 5G better than the previous fourth generation mobile network? Stay tuned to learn more about coexistence of 5G and 4G networks and whether the 5G is worth the hype or not. And by the way, if you want to minimize the EMF radiation you're exposed to in your daily life, I highly recommend checking out my free guide about 7 hidden EMF sources you need to know. So, go ahead and click the first link in the description below this video to get access to that for free right now. 5G Timelines and Dates Deployment of the first 5G technology went live in 2019 and since then more deployments have been launched. Initially, there were some issues, but more people reported increased download speeds. Since then, more handsets are launched each day to accommodate the new technology. This has enabled users to take advantage of the increased download speeds. Many countries are more keen on the deployment of 5G technology as it is seen as an effective wireless communication. It is a major shift on how mobile communications networks operate. The new technology is considered essential for the modern day life, development of industries, and contributing to economic growth. 5G technology is rapidly developing and everyone seems to think about the future of this new mobile communication technology. Therefore, it will not only accommodate superfast speeds but also accommodate low data rates for different IoT devices and applications. 7 Reasons Why 5G Is Not Worth The Upgrade Yet The rollout of the next-generation high-speed cellular network has been met with a lot of misconceptions and confusions. Some people are wondering whether it is worth it. With all the hype about the new technology, even in 2020 after the first deployment there is limited coverage, there are countries with no coverage at all. In countries that have already deployed 5G, it is only available in urban areas. In addition, 5G promises better speeds and greater consistency but this comes at an added cost to the consumer. 5G enabled phones are the most expensive phones in the market and all 5G plans are highly priced. The LTE network has a wider coverage than the 5G network and is much faster, which is the reason why many people like it. Let's have a look at the reasons why 5G is not worth it yet. 1. No service. There is not enough coverage even after the implementation of sub-6 networks. Those in rural areas cannot enjoy its benefits because they're still not covered. With time, 5G will be able to get into most of the places just like 4G, but for now there is limited coverage of the network. The sub-6 implemented on T-Mobile system only covers about 200 million people using its 600 MHz networks and using transmission speeds similar to those used by 4G LTE. Therefore, it is not worth the connection drops in the most developed areas. 2. Poor penetration through buildings using Amway 5G So far, the most desirable results we have seen are from the Amway 5G, an ultra-high-frequency 5G network that transmits at higher speeds of above 1 gigabit per second. Technologies like Verizon, T-Mobile, and Atant use Amway, but only Verizon carriers use Amway for exclusive 5G transmissions. The problem with 5G transmissions is that the signals can't penetrate through a building, and therefore you must be within the direct line of sight to the cell tower or near it. Otherwise, if you are around streets with buildings, there is no coverage. So it's not worth it until there is total coverage in the whole area. Now, hold on just a minute. 
I just noticed that you haven't subscribed yet. So, there's a red button. Go ahead and click that red button and subscribe to this channel and then right next to it, there's a bell. Click that button as well. That turns on alerts so that each time I upload a new episode, you'll get an email from YouTube and you won't miss a thing. 3. 5G is not fully developed. When 5G was first implemented as a wave, it had download speeds of around 1 gigabit per second in most of the places. The expansion of this 5G network has been very slow and until today the best 5G network coverage is from the implemented Sub-6 5G. The original 5G phones do not support the new Sub-6 5G network. So if you have bought the initial 5G phones like Atance, T-Mobiles, and Verizon Samsung Galaxy S10 you will not be able to expand or enjoy the benefits brought by the implementation of Sub-6 5G. Additionally, the original Sprint's devices only support 2. 5 GHz network and you can't upgrade them to use T-Mobile's 600 MHz network. As the 5G network keeps on expanding, it's possible all 5G phones bought today will not be able to keep up with future expansion of the 5G network. For example, the T-Mobile's 5G Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus only supports the use of a 600 MHz network. 4. No cheaper plans. The 5G services require you to subscribe to the top-tier unlimited plans, unless you're using T-Mobile or Sprint. This forces those who want to enjoy 5G services to spend more money on subscribing to the expensive plans that have limited networks. Carriers like Verizon and Intent require their 5G users to subscribe to the unlimited top plans that have features like music streaming and cloud storage services that they don't need. If you're in the US, Verizon carriers will force you to subscribe to an additional $10 per month for the use of 5G plus fees from the regular plans. If you're using Intent Extra, you have to pay $40 per line each month and the Elite plan allows you to pay $50 per line per month. 5. Supported in few phone brands. Only the newest high-end phones fully support the 5G network, so there is a high probability that even your best phone doesn't support the 5G network. Not just that, the majority of the cheap phones don't support the use of 5G. When buying a new phone in 2020, 5G is probably not at the top of your priority list of features. Even though with a 5G phone you can still connect to the 4G network and disable the 5G settings if there is no coverage, only a few phones support this. Upgrading to Samsung Galaxy 20, you will get covered when 5G rolls out and get support from LTE's full range of bands. 6. You will still go back to use LTE no matter the carrier you're using, there are cases where you will go back to use LTE. LTE speed is fast enough for your entire phone task and paying for 5G capabilities for the same task may seem like a waste. After full implementation of the 5G network, it will be able to cover the entire footprint covered by the LTE network, but it is not there yet. 7. High Radiation Emission one of the major concerns about the deployment of 5G networks is the amount of radio frequency radiation emitted by the 5G towers. Radio frequency radiation emitted is associated with increased risk of cancer. Deployment of a 5G mobile network has been met with a lot of concerns whether it is worth it or not. Mobile speeds are expected to be five times greater than the current speed with reduced latency. The 5G network is still under development and not yet deployed in most cities. Some people in rural areas will still rely on the use of 4G networks. Most reports say the network will be fully deployed by 2025 so it will take time to have worldwide coverage of 5G network. Currently, the devices built with 5G capability are very expensive, leaving ordinary people with no option but to stick to the 4G network which is becoming faster. This is because 5G is built on top of 4G LTE and as more people upgrade to use 5G, it will free up the 4G spectrum band thus becoming faster. Transition to 5G network is also very slow since most of the smart home devices are built using the 4G network and it may take some time for the device manufacturers to upgrade their chips to use 5G network. More people are also concerned with the amount of RF radiation and other forms of radiation they will be exposed to with widespread use of 5G networks. Though the future of the 5G technology is very bright, it is not worth it yet. Now I just want to quickly mention that if you're at all concerned about EMF radiation, you should take a second and check out the first link in the description. I have a free gift for you. 
It's my ultimate EMF guide to help you get rid of dangerous EMF sources nobody is telling you. If you click the link below this video, I'll send it directly to your inbox for free. Thanks for watching.